Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Good morning, hey, mister. Good morning, fellas. Sir. Can't beat this weather. Hi there, there ma'am. How you doing? How's things? Very Morning. good. Buongiorno. Glad to hear. Take care. Take care. How are you, ma'am? Buenos dias, senor. Morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Days is getting Mr. longer. Hey, officer. Good, good morning, morning to you. Hey there, partner. Fine morning, partner. That's a well-made wagon. Hey, mister. Hey, partner. Adam. Hello, sir. Hey there, mister. Howdy, fellas. Okay, bud. Uh, fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. 
Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of uh, European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ah! Waves I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. Uh, <clears throat> Ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> oh, chante! Yes. Hello! Hello, sir! <laughs> okay, uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay, uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You. You are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. <laughs> I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor. Show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey! It's doing what I'm telling you. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. You avoid the mines, yes? That is what controls are for. Carefully. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the H.L. Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. That one's gone, too. You see what stupid man does? Another one down. I'm getting the mastery of this. Show them one more to prove. Back to the dock. 
That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. Just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of Hong. Still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. Torpedoes do not have so much range. I am an invisible wave engineer, not a rocket physicist. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air, like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course, but what a thing to fund! What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even Dimwit here. Hey, you really all work on your sales machine. Ah, Americans! All you think about is sales! I say look out for mines! Look who rules the seas! Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. <laughs> then, as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <coughs> I hope you will forgive my... Hey, move it! Hey there, partner. Hello. Howdy. Look at you. Hi there, mister. Just calm down. Hey, 
I need medicine. Oh. Hey. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, just tried that plan over there, and it was like a gunshot. Oh, remember the one with the pink flowers? Tiny little bastard. Steer clear. Thanks, mister. I owe you my life. Some things you learn the hard way. Hey, boy. Yeah, you can, you can say that. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <laughs> This is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. It, okay.
Okay. Easy. Whoa. Oh, there, boy. There. Yep. Whoa. It's okay, boy. I have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, sure, I got your money. Every stinking cent is in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Ah, uh, I like doing it sober. You take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's us uh, handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? You back so soon, Paul? Someone's here, boy. Paul, wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Mm. Drinks ready. Now, where's them it's drinks, right there, boy? It's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. Come take it. It's right here. Ah! A 
Cut your damn head! Clean off! Oh. Don't hurt me, all right? Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky. I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself.
Yeah. How you doing, boy? Gentlemen, and the rest of you. My, oh my, ain't life grand. Well, it is. Trust me on that one. It is. Old Mike Bell told me. Evening. Jose? What's the latest on Jack? <sighs> Still working on it.
you do? Arthur. Like the waves. Hello, Hello Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that married girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. No doubt. Well, I don't know. First Jack, now Tilly? This isn't good, Arthur. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa! Whoa! Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Get out of here! Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right end do. Now get out of here! Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by it. I said... You said your last words. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. I'll take that. Shit! 
It's okay, mm. Miss Tilly. Now, let's mm. get you out of here. I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, Miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them! Oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard! Uh, uh, the one in front of the boat! All right, get after them! Yeah. There, straight ahead! I saw them go through those bushes! You've got a couple more seconds to regret what you did! They're heading down the hill to the water! Let's finish these scum! You got it! Oh, there they are by the shoreline! Are you out of your mind now? They think they're getting away! They got another thing coming! You picked the wrong girl! Oh, look at these cowards! We can't let these animals get away! All right, I think that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him. the last word on this bastard. Yep. Tilly Jackson ain't yours to hail. Come on! Get him, Arthur! I promise you don't want a war with me. Come here! That's it. Now make sure you tie him up real good. Make these nice and tight. All right, you bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be. You have the first idea what you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an E? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a...
comes with a name. So he's still alive then? Ah, I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. Sadly, I agree with you. <laughs> Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Come on, nigga. Lenny, all good here? Welcome back, Arthur. <sighs> all fine. Good. Stay alert. Are you okay, Reverend? Thank you for your help with Miss Jackson. <sighs> Don't mention it, Miss Grimshaw. You're a fine man, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes, at least. Thank you. I think. Hey, Mary Beth. Molly.
Looking good there, old fella. Go to hell. After you, old fella. After you. 